Hello everyone, this is Shrivenzal. We are going to take a break from gaming and talk about uh, an appliance. This is my old clothes washer. It is a Maytag Neptune TL. Model number FAV6800AWW. The clothes were coming out wet and I decided I was going to be smart and try to fix this bad boy. And I'm going to show you whether uh, it is worth fixing it if you have one of these bad boys. Um, it may or may not be worth fixing depending upon the problem you have. First of all, this uh, particular washing machine does not have a central agitator. Instead it has these two discs here that rotate and tumble the clothes. Uh, my problem was at the bottom there the clothes would be all wet and it would be standing water in the basin. So, let's just uh, try to decide for you uh, what the actual problem is. First of all, you're going to have to get off this front panel here. To do that, you're going to need to slip something thin into these corners here. One here and one over here, preferably plastic, because uh, metal might scratch your uh, finish here. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to remove this front panel, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like down inside. All right, I should mention that these two tabs here are not the only things that keep the front cover onto the unit. Those tabs just allow you to lift the lid. Then you're going to have to undo two screws, one in each corner. Then that front panel will come right out. Now, the easiest way to tell what your problem is is to run a load and to watch what's going on inside. Now, a lot of websites are going to tell you that if your clothes are coming out wet, the problem is your water pump, which is that guy right there. That is your water pump. If you do a load of laundry and it is your water pump, you will see that when it engages, the water level will not drop in your unit. Now, if it is the water pump, it could be a couple things. It could just be a bad pump, or there could be something stuck in any of these hoses. A hose back there, and the hose here. Now, if you're going to replace your water pump, it's going to cost you about $120. I did that, and it made no difference whatsoever. My clothes were still coming out wet. So, it was not my water pump. After further investigation, I found out that on this particular unit, it's not here right now, but down in here, there's a big wheel that engages the motor. This is your motor here. There is usually a belt that goes from here to that wheel. Okay, here's the wheel that normally sits up underneath that basin. It goes all the way up underneath there and the belt engages around here and then comes up and goes on your motor pin down here. Now how these uh, washing machines work is when this motor here spins one direction it'll turn this wheel a certain direction it'll turn the wheel a certain direction and that will cause your two agitating discs inside the basin to turn and tumble your clothes. When the motor reverses direction, these this one-way bearing will engage, this one-way bearing in here will engage, the internal disc will stop spinning and what will spin is the internal drum inside here. That drum is what spins and causes the water to come out of your clothes and go down into the drain here. You will know even without taking this guy off, if you're, I mean, if this is the problem right here, you'll know because even though this plastic drum here is more or less opaque, you will be able to see your drum inside there spinning. It'll be so obvious. It'll look like this thing is about to ready, get ready to launch itself into outer space. If it's not spinning, this is your problem. Now, it could be one of two things. There is a little spring inside this drum here. If I were to take these four bolts out, or nuts here, and you would see the spring. 
and it is held in place by a little pin. My pin broke, which is why this housing right here is broken. If it's only that pin, if you replace this part, which will cost you about $180, you probably will have this thing fixed. However, if you see rust here, don't even bother to fix your washer. The reason this is rusting is because the gasket that's under there that keeps the water inside the internal drum and the outside world to keep those two things separated, it is leaking. And it's causing this one-way bearing to rust. When this thing is new, all the, this entire metal assembly here is all nice and fresh. But once this thing rusts, those bearings are not going to spin. It's going to jam, it's going to break off that pin, and you're done. Now, I spent $180 on this piece. I spent $120 on my water pump. And when I finally decided to just trash this thing, we went out to Home Depot and we bought a new clothes washer for like $400. Why even bother to fix this bad boy? Well, anyway, I hope this uh, video helps. It's probably not the best video in the world, but uh, hopefully it'll help somebody who's trying to fix this unit. And to realize that when you have wet, wa wet clothes, it probably is not your water pump. It may be. I wish for you that it is. Uh, hopefully there's just a sock down inside that tube. You take out those tubes, you take out the sock, and you're back in business. It could be your water pump is truly dead, in which case $120 for a water pump, and again, you're back in business. If this guy is dead, don't even bother, because in order to fix this problem, you actually have to fix the whole gear assembly that's at the bottom of the basin, and that's about a $360 part. So not only do you have to replace that, you're going to have to buy another one of these because the leak destroyed this guy. So you're talking $400, $500 just to get this thing back to the way it was. And considering this model is about 15 years old, eh, why bother? Anyway, this is Shrivy. Your mileage may vary as far as you're working on this particular unit. But uh, hopefully this video, as bad as it is, will have been uh, somewhat helpful to those who... Uh, we're unfortunate to buy one of these uh, model of clothes washers. Anyway, take care guys.